I am genuinely serious about the epilepsy warning. Cruelty Squad is a profound and enigmatic stealth shooter that's very nice and respectable looking. Really, uh, t t really digging the look of this Roblox zombie. And out of deep respect for the source material, I will be editing a video that looks as beautiful as Cruelty Squad. Acid Trip? No. This is going to be an acid adventure. Set in a twisted and dystopian society known as capitalism, where landlord phobia is a thing of the past and the value of human life has plummeted so low, it's negative. We play as an esteemed person of wealth who is tasked with the assassination and suffering of anyone unlucky enough to be in the same room as me, but progresses to dark and sinister revelations that result in the death of five separate gods. Including yourself. Listen, I know this game can be a little bit confounding and difficult to interpret. The messaging is just so deep. But don't worry, I've played this game for hundreds of hours and I still don't know what's happening in this. So the game begins with our concerningly red protagonist experiencing wet, when we receive a most unusual phone call. Hey, what's poppin' little incel? Ever think about playing God? Uh, no. Well, I do, so listen up. We- we- we need to- <laughs> Look, I know things have been hard after your lobotomy, which is why I feel comfortable giving you a gun. So, uh, welcome to the U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. We shoot people for actual money. Oh, sweet. How much? <laughs> I didn't say your money. Your mission is to assassinate the business world's finest in increasingly deranged bouncy castles and, uh, alternate dimensions. Just, like, don't think about it too hard. Okay, but I've got one question for you. Can I watch the static channel? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Aw, oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Taking the first step on our quest to literally eat the rich, we come upon the realization that, uh, this is what the game looks like, all the way down to the abnormally large picture frame that is present at all times. It also changes based on whether or not we have a soul, so if you die too many times, you will be disconnected from the light of God, cursed to roam the earth as a mass of writhing flesh. Also, I can, uh, eat dead bodies now, so I guess they have good taste. This game's graphics are not just terrifying, they're consistently terrifying, and there's no way of telling whether or not something has a deeper meaning or if the devs are just fucking with you. Me publishing the 10-hour video essay on killing my landlord. I wonder what it could possibly mean. Case in point, the reload mechanics require you to yank the mouse backwards like you have fucking conniptions. This represents how hard it is to do anything in this game. He's like a DVD player. Visiting the meat room, we up. Uh uh, why is there a meat room? What do you mean I can't reverse the process? I would like to go back now. Visiting the actual mission this time, we notice that the rest of the game is worse than that, on like a fundamental level. You see, each mission has many different ways to approach, and all of them are completely fine and normal looking. Sometimes, a mission will have you navigate the inside of a building, making your way downwards through many a mysterious do doorway, before depositing you up uh, back at the roof again. This, this doesn't help me at all. My favorite part of this mission is definitely the gigantic meat shaft. No matter what you do, do not eat the pills to make you go upside down. Worst mistake of my life. So after giving Big Pharma a taste of their own medicine and devouring the evidence, we make our way into the most organized neighborhood in Houston, which just so happens to be shaped like a pentagram. Welcome to Paradise City, one of the most normal levels in the game, containing within it a myriad of fun destinations, like the church that was converted into a pizza store. What the fuck did they put in the walls? The Orphan Eviscerator, Child's Conception of What a Castle Is, the uh, Dark World, and the accurate recreation of Bin Laden's uh, actual compound, which I immediately rammed into with my Hyundai Sonata so I could catch a bite with the big man himself. Driving very responsibly to the next target. Traffic jam? Well, I've never tasted it. We encounter the funny lady, whose pathfinding forbids her from entering the street. My guy really does not want to jaywalk in this neighborhood. Just got to, uh... <laughs> Killing the next man with his hands behind the ground, we move on to the coolest and most regular house in the neighborhood, as is evidenced by the, uh... Uh, KYS, keep yourself safe, cons yurt site. Uh, that is, that is an interesting wallpaper. It makes me feel so protected and safe. Oh, looks like you've got quite the collection here, buddy. Ah, I see you've taken a liking to my Funko Pops. No, I haven't. Amazing, isn't it? That they embrace me despite my flesh, for the packaging is eternal and pure. Uh, I will be as the lion and as the Nephilim. If you kill me, my soul will ascend to plastic. Are you okay, man? Release me from my corporeal flesh, and I will become as the Uh, sorry, buddy. That was a slippery slope fallacy. Yo, I'm gonna have what this guy's having. That, uh, oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> my entire world has been has been there's no fucking way there there is no fucking way so it turns out if you keep falling for 10 minutes the game uh dislikes that i got a real case of the heebie piece. the rest of this mission is really fun especially when i figured out i could sell the organs that i found but i couldn't help but notice that something was a little bit off about the town catacombs. Every city in America has to have one. So, while getting inspiration for my next creepypasta video where Mario comes out of the pipes and kills me, we descend deeper through the bone zone and into the- uh, Oh, uh, oh no. I'm gonna have to play the whole level like this, aren't I? Hey guys, welcome to the stage that closed its eyes. Known for its many visible landmarks, like the Eyeball Sun, or the Transmission Towers. Really big fan of the microwave ASMR that permeates the entire level. Just don't play this at the very end of the game, otherwise, uh... I want God to come down and explain this to me. This is actually giving me a migraine right now. So after killing people in the pitch darkness, like the game is trying to censor itself, we make our way to the ominous glowing mansion, where we can roleplay as American police by slaughtering the entire dark world population. This is the shittiest game of Where's Waldo I've ever seen. Hey guys, Max are here, and today we're gonna be visiting the, the pulsating meat. I think this planet might be better without light. Uh, hey buddy, you know you can't just walk in here and kill people, right? Oh yeah, uh, says who? The police say that, actually. Oh, appeal to authority much. I'll show you an ad hominem attack. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. So after escaping our banishment to the Shadow Realm, we journey to the headquarters of the Gamer Subs Corporation, where we can try their delicious energy drinks for a fraction of the price. But before we can do any of that, we need to steal a forklift and use it across the ocean. I don't think Osho's uh, on board with this one. Howdy, stranger. You aren't from around these parts, are you? That's okay. Me and my ominous friends in the sky love having visitors to our humble abode, especially after bringing us an entire forklift. How did you? Never mind. There are many more fish in the sea, after all. So please, take my long, sturdy pole and practice the art of the Pisces to your heart's content. Uh, thank you? And don't worry, we will be watching you every step of the way. I, I kinda don't want to fish anymore. Finally alone with my thoughts, I soon realized that each fish I caught was worth more than beating this mission, and that each of them has a speculative value on the stock market, which I proceeded to trade on for the next 30 minutes. Not actual stocks, mind you, just the fish. I even made a literal fish index fund. It's what the sky demons would have wanted. So we head back to the Gamers Ups link in the description, where we find a 10% discount on delicious energy products, most of which comes in this cool powder, so uh, please don't snort it. What the fuck is this text shit? Uh, oh, oh no. D Oh god, it's on the floor. These are all of the uh, d dissatisfied customers. Along the way, discovering many amazing flavors, like Sigma Brain, Grandpa, t d Grandpa's Ashes, or just a uh, lean. Yes, that is that, that is Joe Biden on the cover. Bad and naughty children get made into the guacamole gamer fart flavor. It's so cheap and affordable. So after ascending the literal corporate pyramid, we assassinate the CEO for his devious role in the making of this video, leading us to be arrested by the police for all of the criminal deals you can find in the description. The year is 2024. The police have formed a self-serving cult who conspire to get away with the killing of Dark Worlders. Now it's up to us to offer the police chief a 12-gauge diversity seminar, who took so many steroids that he has transformed into a bouncy castle. This level is a borderline nonsensical collection of rooms, where even the slightest noise will cause an absolute cavalcade to chase you down the halls like Avenger the Scooby-Doo Isekai. Take for instance this room. I, am I interrupting something? I'm gunning down an actual clown car. Fuck the police? Eat the rich? Uh, no. Eat the fucking police. Look, all I'm saying is there ain't no song called Fuck the Post Office. Here we got the, uh, basketball court. I, uh, d d what is my camera doing? I believe I'm having a stroke. Here we encounter the actual brain tumor experience. An enemy whose primary attack is making the game impossible to play. I normally don't get motion sickness, but, like, Jesus Christ. Let's hope the next level has, a uh, really cool enemies that are equally as fun to play against. So after deflating the police chief, we are sent to the shopping mall so we can befriend the President of the United States. Along the way, visiting the many benefits of modern consumerism, such as the Punishment Store, which sells the amazing cubes that cover the entire screen. The game... E, which sells a realistic depiction of a panic attack. Man, I would kill for a copy of Gorbino's Quest. It is the world's only video game. 
Oh well, guess I'll have to go to the gun store instead. Uh, why? Don't come to the mall tomorrow. The pizza cathedral slash wallpaper store. The other punishment store, which sells the uh, Funko Pops. The plant shop do be having plants escaping into the mall and killing everyone. It is only a matter of time. Gun and gear, which seems to be a- What did I uh, say about coming to the mall? We need to get out of here. And of course, Donut World, which is filled with the police officers. Needless to say, this level is really big, with a variety of routes that don't really result in your death as much as guarantee it. My favorite example being the, uh, the... Hey there. Oh god, we need to get in the elevator. The noise is just so terrifying. Uh, I guess I'm safe. Uh, I don't think he's, he's, uh, uh going away. Oh my god, he's still making that sound. Dropped by games, games only to find out they're all out of... Uh, he, he found my address. Is everything okay, buddy? So after sneaking around my enemies really carefully, I, I think he's a, a little stuck. We dispose of the presidential Evangelians and secure a meeting with the big Biden on campus. Oh. This is where he tells us his amazing plans to impose a 1% income tax and stop turning the water into fry oil, which I have to say is really landlord phobic of him. When he says something so wealth phobic, you gotta hit him with that CEO stare. Also, fun fact, if you head outside the map, they just uh, put Elon's face as a texture. I just wanted you to know that. Exiting the level, we notice that the friendship of the president has caused the stock market to exponentially increase with no upper limit, causing my fish index fund to increase in value indefinitely. I uh, would invest in GameStop, but it has uh, become a sine wave. Very, uh, very volatile prices. So to maximize our earnings, I decided to get up from my computer and eat dinner. And when I came back, I had accrued the funds to buy everything in the entire game. I feel like this counts as some sort of tax fraud. So after buying all the game's upgrades before the government can tax me, we head back to our unassuming abode to unwind and watch my favorite YouTube channel. Pick up the fucking phone. Uh, hello? 95 counts of market manipulation. 5 million dollars in untaxed earnings. 2 billion counts of rape. And you somehow managed to buy an onion future. Oh shit. There are federal agents outside your house. So if you want out of this shit, you're gonna have to earn it. Okay, but uh, can I shoot my landlord? What? This has nothing to do with my rent. I'm just, I'm just taking the opportunity. CEO grind set. Ah, just evicted another six rentoids. 18 if you count the children. Can't believe so many single mothers could fit in the same room. Also, I'm going to be uh, adding a 300% visitation fee to your rent. Unfortunately for this man, I am a dedicated Maoist. My actual landlord is going to swap me after he sees this. This apartment is certainly very complex, both spatially and geopolitically on account of the ominous towers in the distance. With most hallways either leading to a maze of wonder and mystery, or just taking you straight out of the top floor. Uh, so this is certainly a room. Every apartment has one. Life, uh, life, life has many doors, fed boy. We did it, guys. We, we found the doorway. Ah, uh, cool. It's, uh, two uh, normal towers. But worst of all, this level makes us interact with our neighbors, which wouldn't be bad if the level didn't sound like this. How about we just go talk to this guy? What the fuck? This guy's got fascinating things to tell us about. I don't think I'm, I'm allowed to repeat this one. Oh, well, you got me. I am a dedicated Maoist after all. Don't worry, fellas. He's just writing a tweet. Very black suppository and debased of him. Oh, he was, uh, keeping a slave. Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. So we get away with a minor misdemeanor and several dozen deaths, then move on to get some fun and relaxation on the high seas. Hey, hey sorry, buddy. That was a uh, funny prank I just pulled. Uh, 49 people are dead. It turns out tax fraud's been legal for 10 years, so uh, no hard feelings. Wow, I guess rich people can get away with anything. We prefer the term people of wealth. Now, if you're ready, uh, let's go kill some rich fucks. Welcome to the world's most beautiful and secluded getaway, where there are no authorities to hear your screams. And screaming there will certainly be, as half the population of the ship is actively begging for death. Genius writing. I think their microphone is broken. And while we're on the subject of begging for death, it's time to talk about what I spent all of my insider trading on, and why it was a really bad idea. You see, Cruelty Squad allows us to purchase a number of upgrades, but most of these upgrades are objectively bad. We've got implants that slightly change the game's contrast, transform me into a fucking golem, spend one million dollars to ruin the game, use a radio to play any song from this game's amazing soundtrack. Uh, 
Wh what is this what the kids call a uh, slurp core we have lost the ox privileges ruin the game with increased contrast bring the dark world into every world and completely break the game by swinging outside the map and killing the target through the floor this amazing feat of game design is only possible with an augmentation known as the grapendix which true to its biology uh randomly kills you. The Grapendix allows you to attach yourself to walls, attach yourself to ceilings, trampolines, people on the street, and of course, uh, the bullets that you fire. Transforming the game from a quirked up stealth shooter with a little bit of swag into the Mach 5 nightmare that I have always wanted to play. And that isn't even mentioning the Bio Thruster, which by emitting a disgusting amount of goo at a disturbingly high speed, completely bodies any sense of pacing or level design. And it's the best shit ever made. Just, uh, be careful on the way down. Uh, uh, what? Okay, so apparently every single level just has a room like this. It's just like a real cruise ship. So after collapsing the nearby pool by flying into it, this fucking guy just uh, doesn't give a shit. We gamble away our life savings for a little too long and have to pick up all the coins individually. 90% of players uh, quit before they make it big. Better, better keep gambling just to be sure. For the next stop on our enjoyable vacation, we decide to take a trip to the nearby alternate dimension where we can relax and admire the many disturbing entities like the Bubble Buddies or the Anomalous Hot Tub Zombie. Um, I guess I'm not going to open that door. <laughs> you guys having fun over there? We can also check out the secret underground maze of unusual layout and sinister implications. Behold, mortal, for I am the object of thy quest, the beacon of hope um, for a millennia. Well, well, is, well, well. is he okay? <laughs> and that is why the Jews did it. Uh, did what again? Planned my niece's birthday party. Oh, okay. It was outside some asshole's apartment building. Bog business is a really nice level. I like the part where the video stays monetized. <laughs> I think I might have uh, figured out where the swamp step is from. <laughs> it's time to clean the urinals at double the speed. This level is just a really fun time, which is why everyone at the farm is so happy to be alive. Miyazaki t really outdid himself with this one. Heading through the swamp and into the shrimp dimension, we find ourselves on the precipice of a dark and mysterious valley, veiled in a tapestry of terrifying secrets and even more terrifying answers. Something is out there, and someone is watching, observing our every move, examining me as I come the entire valley in feces. Heading deeper into the mines, we are overcome with the strong sense that something is profoundly amiss, and the workers are... D d what, what the fuck? These are the faces of evil. And in the darkest reaches of these twisted caverns, we uncover a dreadful secret, never meant to see the light of day. Meat in this world is not grown, it is harvested. The earth itself lives and breathes, but most importantly, it feels pain. A and, it, and it likes it. Uh, hey man, nice to meet you. Now, uh, listen, I, I know it looks bad, but in my defense, it was really funny. I promise to you that my crumbing days are over. From this moment onward, I will be sticking strictly to adult porn. Strictly to what? Oh, 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 you, you, mean, the, you mean the meat mine? <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry about it. After all, there's nothing you can do to reverse the process. So we reverse the process using Remington therapy, then navigate the vascular system all the way back to the beginning of the level, leading us to our fifth vacation of the video in a respectable financial establishment, which I can be trusted to explore responsibly for the next eight hours. Okay, so it was a little more than eight hours, but uh, I'm gonna break even soon. Just played the slots for 10 hours straight and one hour gay. My favorite is the slot machine that uh, just just generates garbage. This casino also features the room with one of every enemy in the game that you will be going into. And, uh, and I forget what else there is. But that is okay, since this is basically the longest level in the game anyways. I killed everyone in the fucking casino, so we gamble away my son's child support, and because of our amazing returns in the waste industry, we are given invites to attend the annual Illuminati convention, where we get to wine and dine with all the world's billionaires and politicians before sacrificing the child. Welcome to the Idiot Party, a labyrinthine maze containing the best and brightest of the Orphan Blood fan club. God, I hope I get to see Mr. Beast before a Moloch demands my firstborn. Featuring such amazing attractions as the room designed for humans and the giant blender that fires you into space. But that is nothing compared to the main attraction of our wealthy guests, who are here to provide us with captivating insights into exactly how many children it takes to mine our cobalt. Can't wait to see what amazing life advice these words of wisdom guys, uh, get up at five. Uh, journal 
Be the owner of 95 properties. Okay, thank you. That's a grind set. Lesson in Jesus Christ. Buy as many Funko uh, Pops as you can. There. Make the normies think have you aren't immortal. Before? 10 rules for life. Oh god, they got him Tell too. Tell a guy to kill people. Okay, he I understand. I get it. I get it. Pointers and jointers. Push I, gamers this is, this is awesome. My Immortality is the best. And I, I'm oh, just the having so much fun. Yeah. Wisdom for the system. That's really good Found advice. I'm going to take that to heart. I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to take that advice. So after taking our medication and restoring the light of God, we decide to ride the elevator. As long as it takes. All the way up to the Neuron Activator. Actual level name. The only mission in this game to give me a piercing migraine. Which, if you've seen this video, is really fucking impressive. From the seizure-inducing dance floor to the inverted nightmare maze with a demon inside of it. This nightclub is designed from the ground up to hurt anyone with functioning eyeballs. And with enough time, reduce the number of functioning eyeballs. This presents a little bit of a challenge when you're up trying to see the enemies. So to reach our targets, we're going to have to be very precise and subtle. Today, I will be opening a normal door and, uh... Okay, never mind. Really like the way the NPCs just, uh, to slowly gather around you in a circle. Really a makes me feel uh, so sacrifice. welcome and protected. Yeah. When the beat drops, I'm going to fucking kill oh myself. Oh my god. Theory time. Oh god, the no. civilians are a writhing mass of flesh. I just, I Maybe just want to know where the bathroom is. You, you don't have to do this to I me. boil the baby alive into a thousand knots. So we liquidate every member of this godless cave, including the man behind it all. My, uh, Michael Jackson. I, I don't know why he moves like that. And after investigating his PC, we move on to the funny office level so I can organize a meeting between HR and the bullets in my gun. Welcome to Control Incorporated, the world's only Fortune 500 company where the employees do not have pathfinding and will walk out the ninth floor. And today, we're going to be taking workplace harassment to the next level, starting by uh, clearing out the witnesses. This mission consists of many targets spread throughout the world's most ridiculous waste of real estate. Really gotta commend the devs for their uh, sick Roblox obby. My favorite part of the office is when they forgot to code Michael Scott's pathfinding and he no, fucking dies. So after navigating a hostile workplace environment and giving our employees is a big severance package. We decide that now is the time to go on strike, especially since I am 100% of the remaining workforce. My demands are simple. Let me kill Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Taking the elevator in the center of the building. One day, we advance past the penthouse guards and accidentally back down. I'm gonna break in through the fucking window. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Do you even know who I am? I am the one entrusted by the Trigons to keep this world together. And you've been making my job very difficult. Uh, sorry? Sorry isn't going to cut it. I want this bitch's penis fucking exploded. This dimension is rotten to its core. Shoot me. What? Even if you kill me, you will change nothing. You cannot end immortality! Uh, where am I exactly? This is just like Gorbino's oh, quest. Okay? This is the Gorbino's quest. Hey, do you know what This uh, is just like Gorbino's quest. Oh, no. This no, 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 is no, no, the Gorbino's quest. I, I can't quest be here. This is just like Gorbino's quest. Oh, my God, they got him again. Can, can anyone, like can, can anyone quest. tell me what's going on this here? This is just like Gorbino's quest. This is the Gorbino's quest of life. did it guys we finally found the world's only video game and all we had to do was t t the reality merch welcome to the archon grid a horrifying plane of eternal torment sitting at the end of reality itself really love the opportunity to uh meet people <laughs> and to get to the bottom of this twisted game we're going to have to navigate a funny series of challenges from the hit popular video game t t gorbino's quest which by the way increases the speed of the orange demon based on your fps and mine was 200, meaning this level was three times harder than intended. Gambino's Best is a game made up of many mysteries, which the player has to solve while being pursued by Freddy Fazbear. I like the part of the movie where they uh, help a nice old man fit into his new suit. The only issue being that most puzzles are meant to trap you forever. 
That box ain't lying. Gorbino's quest do be having 500 hours of mind pumping action. So we make our way through the hordes of PS1 goblins, eventually. Then, about two minutes later, find ourselves fighting God. It's just like my favorite Japanese video games. And after mounting him to a cross with no future consequences, we journey to the center of the Archon grid to finally reset this rotten reality. Once and for all. Um, t t t excuse me? You emerge no, 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 I, what the fuck is this shit? Hey guys, Max or here, the and, uh, and, and welcome to hell. At this point, I'm really starting to vibe with it, honestly. Would you like a lunch? <laughs> yes, that is a common problem. What? No, 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 I, I specifically wanted to leave this place. <laughs> so, after killing the concept of death and eternally trapping our souls on this hellish plane, we acquire enough funds to purchase a normal house in a very welcoming neighborhood where we can relax and do all of the activities that normal humans do. Like, watch my favorite channel, open the fridge correctly, speak to the devil, and admire my 50 copies of Gor 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 Gorbino's Quest. Heading as far away from that place as possible and immediately fighting three gods, because that went so well last time, we noticed that all the water in the game has been tainted a blood red. This is a reference to, <laughs> to Neon Genesis Evangelion. Also, the game just lets me uh, change the blood color to something very suggestive. How's about we go into town and uh, strike up a normal conversation? I follow the teachings of Fuckbro99. I don't know what I was yes. expecting. The strong decide the I, you know what, never mind. This level is really fun. I like the part with the nine transparent flesh demons and the... Whatever that is. Hey there, buddy. It's great to see you. Not every day you can meet someone so ripe for purification. What does that mean? Now we can work on making you beautiful. Like me. Well, I guess this is it. I have everything that I could ever want. Money? Power? Literal immortality? So much has changed, and yet I'm still just a pawn. Maybe I'll always be a pawn. No, I can't give up here. I've still got one target left. One person who was always there. Someone plotting from the shadows and yet so far away. And as long as I can find them, I've still got a way to change things. I still have hope. Well, guess we'll never know. So after finding the Dark Orb to unlock the super secret hardest difficulty... It's a metaphor for nihilism or some shit. Dottie the Screaming Cube is a final part of the game. We arrive back at the place where this mess first began. And to finally take out the source of this world's corruption, we're going to have to be a little bit creative. Because this world's corruption has an HP of several million. And also he, uh, makes you short. So, to defeat our final foe, we head deep into the Cruelty Squad catacombs, past the assortment of random enemies, and into the chambers of the Funny Golem, which, upon death, fires off a total of 1,000 flechettes into the room, <laughs> all to access a very special weapon, which scales its damage based on how much money you have in the stock market. And I just so happen to have a little bit of an index fund. You are nothing without me. I created Cruelty Squad. I created you. I own you. Oh shit, that was one shot. This looks like an interesting level exit. Uh, no, no, please don't make me do this again. <laughs> God fucking damn it! This, uh, th th this, this is not good for the YouTube bit rate. Really, uh, really, really didn't want to hire an animator for this one, I guess. Uh, thank you? <laughs> this shit is making my head hurt. Why is it, why, why is it giving me actual good advice? <laughs> This is just a, this is just a special fucking game, honestly. <laughs> the 
The final level of Cruelty Squad is a loop of endless trauma. A horrifying labyrinth of nonsensical rooms so named because of how many times I had to restart it. Trapped in this new and terrifying realm, we are stripped of our assets, our upgrades, and our sense of actual level design, forcing us to use all the mechanics that I forgot about 20 hours ago. This stage is a place of chaos, a place of torment, where, much like the rest of the game, we are forced to adapt to the absolutely nonsensical. Also, we can reach the cradle of life, and finally put an end to this twisted... Uh, d d whatever this shit is. I, I am not paid enough to analyze this. So despite being a little rough around the edges and, uh, possibly untested before release, Trauma Loop is the perfect encapsulation of what makes Cruelty Squad an amazing game. With multiple equally insane routes, mind-bending challenges, and a headache-inducing visual aesthetic that I can assure you is necessary for the game to function, I have never experienced a game that was so equally fun as it was terrifying. And I definitely recommend that you play it. So if you want to pick up Cruelty Squad and finally experience what eco-death is like, then don't worry. I have already spoiled it for you. Seriously though, in a world of crazy graphics and even crazier development cycles, it's good to know that people are still making games with just a little bit of personality. I'm Maxor, and this has been your guide to a late stage retinal damage. And as always, set goals, invest, wake up early, CEO, mindset. Subscribe to the fucking channel.